Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean up voiceover in Reaper. I have a piece of voiceover that I read into Reaper. Let's see what it sounds like now. A child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence and swayed the other to and fro, the while kicking carelessly at the gravel. And the boy looked sad. Now, if you listen carefully, it's a bit noisy and could also be cleaned up frequency wise to sound a lot better or more pleasing. Let's start with the noise, the background noise in my studio, whether it's a fan, AC noise, or my computers. Let's go over here to where the noise is separated. Let's bring it up a bit so we can hear it. And now let's try to reduce it with the Reaper plugin. Go to the track effects right here. We'll go to the Reaper plugins and choose Refer. Then we'll switch this to precise mode, change the size to 1024, best quality, and then choose the mode. So instead of being an EQ, it's going to subtract noise, which means we're going to capture the noise right here and build a noise profile and then reduce it based on those frequencies. So we'll choose right here to go into capture mode. We'll play it back just a section of noise and watch as it builds the profile. Right here. So we could use that by turning capturing off in the rest of the file. A child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence. Sounds a lot better but we can tweak it by holding down control on the PC or command on the Mac and add more of it or less of it. Now, if we go too far, it'll sound garbly. A child is standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder, but if we go too low, it'll still be noisy. A child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence. So we want to bring it up to reduce the noise without affecting the quality. A child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence and swayed the other to and fro. Much better. Before, a child was standing on a street corner. And then after, a child was standing on a street corner. It reduced almost all of that noise. So now it's at a noise gate to eliminate all the spaces between each phrase. Let's select it, hit D, and that opens up dynamic split. Let's turn off the transients and do when gate opens and when gate closes, and then turn on remove silent areas. And that's going to remove all the dark areas while keeping all the light areas. So it's going to turn off the audio when I'm not speaking. Then we can adjust the threshold to just grab the pieces that we want. Again, if we go too low, it doesn't grab enough. Or if we go too high, it grabs too much. So right about there looks pretty good. Now let's go down over here to leading pad, trailing pad, and a fade pad. Make sure this is on. I'm going to set this to 50 milliseconds on the way in and the way out. So it's going to fade in and fade out so it sounds more natural as it's turning on and off. So if I split it, it sounds like this. A child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence and swayed the other to and fro. So it cuts out the spaces in between my phrases. But we can still clean it up manually. Like this piece here, a just delete it. A child was standing on a street corner. And trim it out if it's cutting off too soon. Street corner. He leaned with one shoulder and notice it fades in with a 50 millisecond fade, which is how we set it up in dynamic split. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board. Clean this up. One shoulder against a high board fence. Fence. And swayed the other to and fro. The while kicking 
carelessly. There's a mouth noise right here. Kicking care. We can remove that. The while kicking carelessly at the gravel. And the boy looked sad. And the D in sad was cut off. So trim it out. Looked sad. To bring it back in. And these two pieces, we can heal, and the boy, much better. A child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence and swayed the other to and fro, the while kicking carelessly at the gravel. And the boy looked sad. And there's two other spots that still bother me. At kicking, the while kicking, Notice that clicking sound? The while kicking, so we can clean that up by splitting the audio. Let's first go to our preferences. Go down here to media item defaults and make sure we turn on create automatic fade in and fade out for new items. And I'm going to change this to 50 milliseconds. So when we split items, it's going to create a fade out and a fade in to remove those clicks. So let's zoom in right up to it, hit S to split it, hold on Shift, and we can modify it. Let's bring it over here to remove it, and it sounds like this. The while kicking, the while kicking, much better. There's also a problem on boy over here, and the boy hit that too hard. So let's zoom in and put a split right here. Move it over a bit, or adjust the crossfade to be a bit longer. And the boy looks, and the boy, it's a bit too much. Pull it back. The boy looks, and the boy looked sad. Much better. It's much more cleaned up. Now let's make it sound better. Let's start off by adding a compressor to separate frequencies. This way we can bring out the bass or the low end in my voice and really control it. So go back to our effects, and right after this one, let's add a splitter. Type in splitter, and let's choose a three band splitter, which is gonna divide the sound into three separate bands. By default, between 20 hertz and 200 hertz, then 200 hertz to two kilohertz, and then two kilohertz all the way up to 20 kilohertz. Let's set this a bit lower, about 120, and let's set this one about three or four kilohertz. So the really low end, then the mid-range, and the top end, where the S's are. Now when it splits the frequencies into separate bands, we need to add more channels for them to play through. Let's go to our pins right here. Let's add some more channels on this track right here. Three and four, and five and six. And we'll see the sound comes in on one and two and goes out one and two for the lows, three and four for the mids, and five and six for the highs. But if we play it back now, we're only gonna hear the lows. And the boy looked sad. Because we have to put the frequencies back together in order to hear them. So let's add a joiner plugin after this. Type in joiner. And right over here is a three band joiner. Look at the pins on this, and we can see the lows come in here, then the mids, and the highs. And it all goes back together on our main outputs, one and two. So now we should hear everything. A child was standing on a street corner. Perfect. But now that it's separated, we can compress each frequency individually. So let's add a compressor right here. We'll use the Reaper compressor, Recomp. And let's put it before the joiner but after the splitter. And let's check the pins on it, right here. We don't need the aux, turn those off. And right now it's just gonna work on the lows. Input one and two, going out one and two. So if we solo just the lows by turning the mids and highs down, we could adjust our compressor, just for the lows. A child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence and swayed the other to and fro, the while kicking carelessly at the gravel. About four to one, with a fast attack and a medium release. 
Now, if we bring it back together with the other frequencies, it sounds like this. A child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence. Notice how the low end is featured more, sounds more rich and full bodied. Now let's do the same thing with the top end. Add another compressor here, put it before the joiner, put it after the splitter, but change the pins on this one to just be five and six in and five and six out. This way it's just gonna work on the high end. And again, let's turn off the mids and the lows so we just hear the highs. A child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence and swayed the other to and fro. Notice it controls the top end, which is the S sounds that might be jumping out. A child was standing on a street corner. Now let's bring them back together again with the lows and the mids. A child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence. Sounds pretty good. Before, a child was standing on a street corner. And after, a child was standing on a street corner. Much better. Now let's add a compressor to the whole thing. To control it, a child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence and swayed the other to and fro, the while kicking carelessly at the gravel. And then finally, I'll add a limiter to avoid any overs, and it'll also bring up the mid-range. Check it out. Search limiter, and we'll choose Event Horizon Limiter Clipper, or just the ceiling, just a bit lower, so it won't go over this level. Then I can bring the threshold down, and watch how it brings up the mid-range. A child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence and swayed the other to and fro, the while kicking carelessly at the gravel. Before, a child was standing on a street corner. And then after, a child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence and swayed the other to and fro, the while kicking carelessly at the gravel. And the boy looked sad. Again before, a child was standing on a street corner. He leaned with one shoulder against a high board fence. I think it sounds a lot better, a lot richer, with each frequency more controlled and all the noise completely reduced. So that's pretty much it. That's cleaning up voiceover, at least how I do it, in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!